Happy video day guys. So random video, literally wasn't gonna film this video today, but I got sidetracked and I went to the mall and I bought a bunch of clothes and I bought some really cool stuff from Zara and Mango and I said, you know what? Why don't we do like a quick little, I'll show you guys what's inside the bags and also what I picked up and then I'll kind of try them on for you guys and we'll do like a little try on slash what's new at the stores. But yeah, so this is an impromptu, a bunch of really cute pieces and I just, oh my gosh, I've got, I've told you guys this, I've got to stay away from these stores. I just love, I love clothes, like I really love clothes. Like you guys know I love makeup, but clothes just really speaks to me. Makeup, I feel like I could manipulate makeup in so many ways with just like one palette. But when it comes to clothes, I feel like I just never have enough of them. So anyways, I'm very dangerous at the mall. So today I'm gonna show you guys all these awesome pieces. And of course, like always, everything is gonna be linked down below in the description box in case you wanna shop any of the items. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. So many cool stuff. So yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Ready. and let's get to unboxing three pieces from mango and I love this first piece guys look at this oh my gosh look at this so this is this beautiful beautiful green dress and it goes all the way down to the ground it has like this faux turtleneck which I just think is so gorgeous and I just couldn't resist this I had to pick it up so yeah this I think it's gonna be gorgeous. But anyways, I tried it on in the store and I just like, I'm gonna wear this like the entire winter long. All right, so here it is. This is the dress. I didn't know where to put my mic, so it's like hanging right up here, kind of thrown in the back. So sorry if you see that, but I love this. I tried this on in the fitting room and I just couldn't believe what a beautiful little dress this is. So form flattering. I love that it's a super thin fabric. So like here in Miami, we don't get that hot. <laughs> Sorry, we get very hot. <laughs> we don't get that cold. So like during winter time, I can't really wear like very, very hot things because then it, not I'll die. But this is like the perfect like Miami winter. So it has the long sleeves, but it's a skirt, very thin fabric. And if you want, you could wear something underneath if you live somewhere that's actually cold and you'd actually need warmth. But I think that this is so beautiful to wear like some high booties with it and dress it with a belt. Like I feel like there's so many ways that I could play with this dress. It's so elegant. I'm obsessed with this. Like this is a very beautiful, elegant piece and I feel like everybody should buy this. There's a few different colorways. I love this colorway, but I think it came in three. This is like an essential, an essential dress for winter time. It's so elegant, so easy to wear. You can wear this to an office. You can wear it out. Like it's a very versatile dress. And I just think the fit is perfection. It gives you like a silhouette falls really nice. It's super, super easy for winter time. It is thin, so it's not gonna do too much for like the stomach areas. I just love this. And look at it from the back. Sorry about the mic, but yeah, from the back you can tell it's just a really beautiful fitted dress. It has, it loosens up on the bottom a little bit, and I just think it looks very beautiful and wintry. I also like that it's a faux turtleneck, like it's not like a real turtleneck, and I think you guys can probably see the fabric a little closer. It kind of has like these details on it going down, so I just love this. I feel like just styling this dress for you guys, but I'm not gonna do that right now because then you're not gonna see the rest of the stuff. But anyways, I'm loving this, super A plus win. Then, <laughs> I finally found a pleated skirt, kind of like a plaid design. Finally found one that is not the shortest thing in the entire universe because I cannot stand it anymore. I feel like every single brand has like super, super short skirts and I just can't take it anymore. So I found this one at Mango and yay, it is not extremely short. It actually has a really good length. I could wear this with leggings and maybe even wear it into the office with leggings and not feel like I am wearing a I don't know, my daughter's skirt, finally. So this was a great find. Mango had this in two different colorways. They had this one and then they had one that was a little bit less um, pronounced, like it was like brown, I think. I'll show you guys an image because I did try some of these things on and I did take some imagery. But anyways, so this is the other one. I like this one more because it's a little bit more fashion and I, you know, was kind of drawn to it more, but the other one's really pretty too. And then the final thing that I got in Mango, and I love this, this is so, so awesome. It's this fitted shirt. So like, it's just a white shirt, but Mango does the best fitted shirts. Like, I got actually a size two, I think. No, an extra small. So 
and it fits great. It fits super, super good, nice and fitted, but it's not super fitted that it feels like it's like constricting and like too tight. I feel like sometimes when they say fitted, you're like fitted or like skin tight, you know? This is not skin tight. I have some movement in here. It's actually like the perfect work shirt that looks tailored. So it has a tailored effect. I will be completely honest. I kind of like the clothes at Mango a little bit more than I like the clothes from Zara, but I like Zara's sense of style a little bit more than Mango's. Sometimes I find things that are like amazing and then sometimes I find things that I know I probably wouldn't wear. Whereas Zara, sometimes I feel like they go way too edgy and then sometimes I feel like they're kind of perfect. So I think between jumping between the two stores is like how I need to shop. I go to Mango and then I go to Zara. Thank God the shopping center here in Miami, Dadeland, has a Zara and a Mango literally like right down the hallway from each other. So makes my life so much easier. But anyways, I love this. I love this. It comes, I think there's like a few other um, colors in it. And if you're looking for a good fitted shirt. So we're on to the next piece and actually the next two pieces. I probably already showed you both of these. Here's the skirt. Tell me it's not the perfect length. I am so happy with this length. So it's still short, but it's not extremely short. I could wear a nice pair of leggings with this or I could wear it just like this and I don't feel like it feels too scandalous. I was actually joking on my Instagram today that I feel like I just went out and bought my high school uniform because I went to private school here in Miami and this is like what we wore. We wore long sleeve shirts just like this with a skirt that looked almost like this, just a different color. So I literally feel like I just bought my high school uniform and for some reason I really like it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe because I wore it for like four years of my life, this entire outfit just like this, that it kind of just it gave me like that nostalgia. I was like, I think I need this. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, this is very in style right now. If you guys haven't seen this preppy, almost gossip girly look is back. And it actually became a little bit more preppy than I think that even the designers wanted it to be because of TikTok. So I think that it's gonna be a little bit more preppy looking, more gossip girl. Um, but yeah, I really love the skirt. The skirt fit is perfection. The length is great. The quality feels good. I love the little details. It has these little buckle details. I think for pleating, as the pleating goes, I think that this is perfect pleating. I love the length from the back. It does not have shorts underneath, so this is a true skirt, which is, I kind of like that, because I'm just gonna put my own little pair of shorts underneath this, and I feel like that's even more comfortable than when they make it into a squirt, and then you're like stuck having to wear those oversized shorts underneath. This is more comfortable, so I love the skirt. The skirt is an A+, and it actually came in two colors. I think I told you guys, and I probably showed you already the two colors, but yeah, this is a A+, love the skirt. The shirt, guys, is everything. So if you want a fitted shirt, like this is everything. This is beautiful. I love how fitted it is. I did tuck it into the skirt right now, but I will untuck it to show you guys. But just look how beautiful this is. I've been looking for a fitted men's shirt that's not like oversized. I don't really like oversized stuff, okay? So I'm not like a big oversized girl. So this is perfect for me. I actually wanted this to even wear it with some of those undergarments that they've been showing that I kind of showed you guys in the Zara one that can tie around the neck to wear it with it. So I feel like this is gonna be so used by me. They have more colorways in this top and I feel like <laughs> by Christmas time, I may own them all, but <laughs> I love this. I think it's perfection. So let me just show you guys quickly. So here's the length untucked and it does go fitted all the way down. So yeah, this is, this is perfect. I really, really love the top. Like A plus, A plus on the top. This is an A plus, love the outfit. So huge win. So I tried on some other pieces at Mango and I wanted to share them. There's this beautiful blazer. I kind of really like it. It reminds me of like the olden days. And then I also tried on these wide leg jeans. They're actually really cute. The only thing I don't love them from the back, but anyways, let's jump into Zara because I've got a lot of stuff from Zara that I picked up. So let me show you guys that. Okay, so let's start with some Zara pieces. So the first thing that I got from Zara is this top. Look at that. <sighs> So I really love this, guys. Like, I am just, I'm a sucker for this top. I bought this already in a cream color. So this is the second one that I've bought. 
But you guys know how much I love a good sage green color. And this was sage green. It spoke to me in all the right ways. So yeah, I had to go ahead and get it. And they're kind of cheap. They're like $19 and they have black. So yeah, I thought it was really cute. Here is the top. So I did pair it with my cute little jeans. Um, I guess I'll put on heels. I'm being so lazy right now. You forced me, I did it. But anyways, you guys saw these cute jeans from my last Zara haul. I actually bought this top also in the cream color which was probably supposed to be part of my last Zara haul, but I probably didn't even put it in the video because I've been on rotation wearing the cream one all the time with the Holland Cooper jeans that you guys saw recently, but I think I never showed them to you guys. So I'm happy to show you the top now. This is the Sage. <laughs> I love, you guys know, this is my favorite color in the world. So I needed to add another one. I have the cream one. Now I have this one. There's also a black one. I'll probably buy the black one later, but I just love this top. I feel like it's essential. It's right, it's, it's kind of a crop, but not exaggerated. My belly button's right here. But since so many things are high-waisted, I always feel like I want something that just sits right above so that it just has a nice fall, maybe show a little bit of stomach, but not scandalous. And I feel like this does the perfect thing that I want. <laughs> But anyways, I love this top. It's a little thicker. So if you do live somewhere a little colder, this is thicker. There's a lot thicker than the last shirt that I showed you guys. It's more of a thicker cotton, but for me, it's fine. I do sweat a little bit in the other one, especially in 80 degree weather, but I love it. So this one is so beautiful and I love this color. This is my favorite color. I just bought, funny story, just bought plates, this color at Target. <sighs> Love it. I would bring you guys down the cream one, but they're upstairs. And I kind of forgot how annoying it is to live in a two-story house <laughs> because then you gotta go run up the stairs and down the stairs and ugh, kind of annoying. But anyways, so I got this in cream too and I love it. So this is an A plus top and I really love it. Look at the back and I love it. Like I said, I love these jeans too, but yeah. That's it. So you guys saw in the previous hauls, which I don't know what order I'm gonna put this in, but I've been looking for a good plaid skirt and plaid skirts are super in. And two of the skirts that I purchased just recently from Zara, they were way too short and I ended up having to send them back because I just couldn't do it. But then I went and got this one, which I almost feel like is almost as short as some of the ones that I sent back, but there's something about this one that doesn't look as short. I don't know if, like I've said before, it's a skirt. So it's really short and this one doesn't have like a double wrap in the front or anything. So it doesn't look as, I don't know, it just doesn't look as short. There's something really cute about this one. And I also got in a small, so it falls more like on my hips. So it lowers the skirt even more. So anyways, I ended up just buying this. I tried it on in the store and I liked the way it looked, but yeah, I'll try it on for you guys now see if it still looks the same. Okay, this is everything. So I love this top. I just noticed right now I have a little bit of unraveling happening on the top. I've got to cut that. But this is one of those, I think they're called like pussy bows um, shirts that they kind of like tie in the front and you could do like that cute little bow. But I love this one. It looks so delicate and fina. I love the little buttons. They're little pearl buttons with little rhinestones in them. And it's like a really beautiful silky fabric. I owned one of these tops, which I actually think I still own it. And I haven't thrown it away, even though it's like ancient and I probably should get rid of it already. Just because I hadn't found like a good replacement for it. And I think this might be it. It. Um, I don't know I just really like this style I don't own many of them because I'm not the type of person that likes to like button up so much on the top but this is just beautiful so anyways you'll see how cute it is hear me out I usually don't wear like these type of like tie bow very conservative tops but I feel like nowadays with these really really short skirts and leather and all that stuff I think a little elegance on the top could be something that's lacking and maybe something that I should be implementing into my wardrobe because everything feels so edgy lately. But I really, really love this and I really like the bow. Now what I do like too is that you don't have to tie it all the way up to your neckline. Like if you don't want it to look so conservative, you can open this up and leave it a little bit more open. But I do think it has a really pretty look just like this. You know, it's very, very elegant. It's so soft. Oh, I love the feeling of this blouse and look Look at the little diamonds and pearls on the buttons. It's very, very detailed, very intricate, but let me just show you guys like undone, like I can make it like lower so it's not so, you know, 
so high, you know, I could open these up. You could actually probably even tie it to the back if you wanted to, so you don't have to wear it like this. You see, you can have it a little bit more open with the tie a little lower. And it just depends on how you feel like wearing it. I know everybody likes their necklines a little bit different, but I thought this blouse was un like, it's a knockout blouse. Imagine this even with like really tight pants or even like work pants with a blazer on top. This is a very elegant piece. I fell in love with it. This is really, really beautiful. And I like the way it even pairs with the skirt because really, it's not really something you would think because the skirt is so short and this is a little bit more elegant. It kind of dies down the skirt a little bit. And I love the skirt, check out the skirt. So I'll show you guys a little bit better in the next clip. I'm probably gonna wear a shorter shirt so you'll be able to see the skirt a little bit better. But let me just kind of explain to you. I got a small, so it's a little bit on the bigger size on me, but I wanted it to kind of fall on my hips. I didn't want it up here because then it's gonna make it so short. So I kind of tried to trick the skirt. <laughs> so I got a bigger size so now it falls right at my hip. So basically they're hip huggers on me. So it made it a little bit lower, a little bit looser. I feel like it has a more casual vibe now, a little bit more relaxed, and it doesn't look as scandalous, even though it is still a little high, um, but it is shorts. <laughs> like I keep saying, they're short, so <laughs> I can get away with it, right? <laughs> but I do think that these I can get away with more than some of the other ones that I tried on in previous hauls that I ended up returning because I thought they were just too short. I tried, but it was just too much. But this one I do think I can get away with and I could also put leggings with it, but I do feel like covered on the top is the way to go. But look how pretty the pattern is. The pattern of the skirt is so nice. It does come with this little belt. I'll probably exchange this belt for like a thicker belt that shows off a little bit more. I don't know about a logo belt, but just something a little bit more detailed, a little bit more fashionable. But anyways, I really like this ensemble. I like this ensemble. Then I got a few more little basics from Zara. I just couldn't pass up this top because it was so comfortable. So this is this really cute top. Look how pretty that is. It's all of Zara's tops lately are like kind of crop tops. So if you don't like crop tops, I mean, ugh, everything has a little bit of a crop in Zara lately, but this one you can kind of pull it down so you can pull it into your jeans. Or if you're wearing like a higher waisted um, pants, you can kind of pull up the pants, but I love this. I love this. I thought it was so, so pretty. It's such a comfy material that it just feels like yummy. Yeah, I had to pick this up. Okay, so here's the top. I love this top, oh my goodness. Like I feel like lately I've been picking up like really cool pieces, but essentials are something that I really need because daily I like to just throw on t-shirts and I'm always cold, so even though I live in like 100 degree weather, it does get a little cooler and once it starts to drop to like 70, I freeze. So I need a little short, I need like little long sleeves that are comfy. This fabric is delicious. Like I almost feel like going and buying every single one of these because it's just the softest fabric I think I've ever tried from Zara. This is like a basic tee long sleeves. I like the line down the middle, gives it a little bit of style so it's not so boring. Look how cute it even looks with the skirt. This dies it down a little bit. It is a little on the sexier side now. So yeah, you know, maybe with some sneakers, I can get away with wearing this during the day, but it's like a really, really pretty piece. It's not super elegant, very dressed down. It's like a t-shirt material. And like I said, you can kind of see the way I told you that I'm putting this skirt like a hip hugger. It kind of falls at the hips instead of going all the way up here. So that Way I can get away with it being a little longer, but that does mean that any shirts like these that are a little cropped are gonna show a little bit of stomach area, which is fine. So anyways, I really like the top. The top is a huge win. I also really like the bottom, and I actually like them paired together. I think it could be cute, right? What do you guys think? Does this look good together? So I've been looking for a pleated like black skirt and I tried one just recently at Zara. You might have seen the video already and I didn't like the way it looked. It just didn't live up to what I wanted it to. So then I saw this one just recently and this one guys, now this kind of works. It's not as pleated as some of the skirts have been like the ones that are in, but I do really like the way that they did it. It has a really cute pleating and yeah, it's kind of really cute and it has a really nice little bow in the front. So I feel like I could get away with wearing this one and I feel like with a blazer or something like that on top, it's just gonna do like that pleating kind of schoolgirl effect without being too much. So yeah, I thought that this was really, really cute. So I went ahead and 
picked that up. Okay, so here's the skirt. So I hope you guys can see my vision here and why I love this so much. I love this skirt. I almost feel like, even though it doesn't have the pleating that I wanted like a pleated skirt, I almost feel like this might be better because my idea is to be wearing this with blazers so that this part kind of comes out or even like a long vest. So I have like a vision for the skirt, but I feel like out of all the skirts that I've tried on, this was the one that was not the shortest. <laughs> I feel like they're all so short, but this one actually does have shorts underneath and it's not like a squirt. So I think that they made it a little bit longer because it's not supposed to be like a squirt. So I actually really like it. I love the little bow. I think that this would be perfect with leggings. I don't think it's too scandalous compared to like some of the other ones that I tried on from Zara. This was, for my opinion, the most tastefully done. I think it's really, really cute. Um, you guys can see from the back as well. It's short, but you know, I've got some room there. It's not like as short as some of those other ones. And depending on how short it is, I could always wear leggings with it. I actually saw these really cool leggings that they have like a faux um, knee high part, like that look kind of interesting. So it almost looks like you have knee high socks on, but it's also a legging. I'm gonna look into them a little bit more and see how that looks. But anyways, I thought that this was really, really cute. I actually like the idea of it. They're really, really pretty, and I love the little bow. So this was a huge win. Um, like I said, probably my favorite skirt that I tried on. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys just a quick little clip of the different skirts that I tried on, just so you could see how many like fails there were in Zara. They were all fails for me, either too big or too short, but this was the only one that I finally said, okay, okay. But anyways, that is everything I picked up. Um, yeah, you see I did, I did good, right? I should, I have to stop shopping. But now that I've shown you guys a lot of cool fall trends because I've done a few of these little haul videos, the next videos that, the next video I'm gonna do is gonna show you guys how to style some of these fall pieces to make them in. Ideas of how to wear it to make it more wearable. So I'm gonna be doing that in my next video, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Don't forget to go ahead and hit subscribe. Of course, like I said, if you like any of the pieces, I will try to list everything I can down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.